Transic Azemic Attack. I had to get Google to pronounce that for me about 30 times before I could finally pronounce it for myself. So to keep things simple, I'm just gonna to refer to it as a mini stroke. Mini strokes are not as commonly known as normal strokes. And because of this, I would like to explain exactly what is a mini stroke. A few weeks ago, I was talking to my grandfather and as we were talking, one side of his face began to droop suddenly and he started forgetting what he was saying and forgot where we were in the conversation. I didn't know why that was happening, but all of a sudden we were just getting rushed to the ER because Papa was having back-to-back -back mini strokes. That is what encouraged me to research about this. Today, I'll be going over three things. One, what is a mini stroke? Two, what are some of the symptoms that mini strokes have? And three, what are some precautions that you can take to help prevent mini strokes from occurring? So to begin, what is a mini stroke? In Thomas's Lee's article, Mini strokes fade away, but danger doesn't. He reveals that mini strokes occur when there is a restriction and or a complete cutoff of blood flow to the brain. Unfortunately, if blood has not returned quick enough to these parts of the brain, these parts of the brain will begin to shut down and or even die. There is one key difference between mini strokes and normal strokes, and that is how long the symptoms last. If symptoms last longer than 24 hours, it is considered a regular stroke. If symptoms last less than 24 hours, then it is considered to be a mini stroke. So now that you understand what a mini stroke is, it's time to talk about some of the symptoms that can occur. Symptoms can vary in range and severity. The two main top, uh, the two main groups I'd like to talk about would be the physical symptoms and the communication symptoms. Physical symptoms can either be felt or they can be seen. So some of the ones that can be seen from an outside point of view, Harvard Heart Slutter article, Mini Strokes Have Major Risk, reveals that the inability to move any part of your, any limbs, any fingers, hands, arms, or legs, that and or the, the inability to walk and control your balance is signs of a mini stroke. There are also some not um, visual symptoms that you can only feel, and these can include numbness, trouble seeing, and dizziness. Now, there's also communication symptoms. This is where my grandfather, this is how I really knew something was wrong. Um, they begin to slur their speech and or they forget what they're talking about and they're very confused during conversation. Once you see the symptoms, it's too late. It's better to go ahead and start preparing for mini strokes. Taking steps against mini strokes is extremely important. Excuse me if I pronounce this wrong, but Dr. Scavani's article, Diagnostic Test and Functional Outcomes of TIA in Young Adults, reveals that there are two main concerns. We wanna ensure that our blood pressure stays below 140 over 90, and we wanna ensure that our cholesterol and blood sugar blood sugar levels are low. And of course, quit any unhealthy habits such as smoking and increase weekly exercise. So to wrap things up, I hope I taught you something. I went over what a mini stroke is, different symptoms of mini stroke, and some different ways to prevent mini strokes from occurring. It is crucial to be able to understand and also recognize what a mini stroke is and its symptoms, not only for your health, but for the people you love. I hope this can save a life.